guys, welcome to Cooking with Farm Boy. So this is just a random little thing I thought of doing. Because uh, like I don't have a lot of content to film right now. So this is just something I thought of. So yeah. First things first. Always get an apron. <laughs> so that you don't make a mess on yourself. Okay, today we are going to be making an omelet with our nice cast iron pan. And yeah. So let's get to it. First, we're gonna grab like three eggs if you want a medium sized omelet. You can do like four if you want a bigger one. And you're gonna get a bowl, crack them in the bowl, make sure there's no shells obviously. Just do egg whites, but I don't like that. So, and then you're gonna grab your whisk. And you're just gonna whisk it up, whisk, whisk, whisk. Just gonna whisk, 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 whisk. Normally I have an immersion blender to do this, but I don't know. I just am doing this. Differences between where the egg white was and the egg yolk was. Now you're going to set this aside and you're going to set the stove onto like four or five and then you're going to go ahead and throw your egg shells away. And then while we're waiting for our pan to heat up, we are going to grab some, we're going to grab some turkey and some shredded cheese and then we're going to grab a cutting board and you can just use a a butter knife for this, but I'm just using a. I'm just using a um, steak knife. And sorry if there's a lot of sound in the background. I have some people over. So then you're just gonna kind of like roll it up like this and cut. And cut it all and just get it kind of like all cut up so there's no big pieces. And so, yeah. Then, once you're done with that, you can set that aside. I use turkey because I don't like ham. I use um, oven roasted turkey because I just prefer that. Now, you can go ahead and get some cooking spray. We get the pure, simple, non-GMO canola oil cooking and bacon, baking spray. And we're going to spray that bad boy. And then go ahead and pour your omelet into the pan. And I recommend using like kind of a smaller pan 
but yeah, you can use basically whatever you want. I'm gonna bring you guys closer so you can see the cooking part. Yeah, just so you know, I am actually a certified professional chef. I'm just kidding, not really. And you're gonna grab some spices, good old salt and pepper, obviously. And then you're gonna add a couple more spices. I like to use onion powder, paprika, crushed red pepper, and sometimes even just a tiny bit of Italian seasoning. I don't think we'll do that today. It just depends on how I'm feeling. And then once you get it poured, you might want to turn it down because it cooks pretty fast because it's just thin. And you are going to add all your spices before like the cheese and the meat and stuff. I like to go finest, um, finest spice to least fine. So add some salt, some pepper, and then for a little bit of sting spice, add some crushed red pepper flakes. Really good. Okay. So now, you add your cheese. Cheese, cheese. Add as much as you want. I kind of like cheese, so I add quite a bit. And then, you can grab your turkey, ham, Whatever you want, you can even do bacon. Just add it right in there. Yum, yum. Love, love omelets. Especially with turkey. Bam. Okay, now you wait. While you're waiting, you can just put all your spices away. yourself a nice big spatula. This is going to be kind of hard. And you can turn it up once you've got all your spices in and everything. So yeah, now we wait. And you can also kind of like move it around to get some of the stuff on top to go to the side more. Okay, now it's kind of cooking up, so we can go ahead and try to flip it. Sometimes the omelets can stick, but if you spray that puppy well, 
Make sure it sticks. Oh, it's so much for your Yeah, you're welcome. That is a deal. No, it took me so quick. I was like, I'll read it. Sometimes if it's cooking more on one side, you can move it off the thing on that side and just have it cook on this side. See, what, you know what I mean? Like, it's cooking more on this side, so I moved this side off the burner and this side more onto the middle. What you're gonna do is just fold it right in half. Today's cooking with farm boy. Oh yeah, that's great. 